The rise in gas prices continues across the U.S. Idahoans and government agencies are feeling the increases. Many departments and organizations set their fuel budgets for this fiscal year many months ago. So the question is, has the cost of gas already made them overspend? Our Tristan Lewis joins us live in studio to answer that question tonight. But Tristan, first question, what is the average cost of gas in Idaho today? Well, Doug, according to AAA, the average cost in Idaho is $4.50 a gallon. So some agencies such as ISP, which is budgeted at $3.50 a gallon, are definitely feeling those increases. But all the agencies I spoke with said they have plans in place to, in case of overspending because their jobs must continue on. Thousands and thousands of vehicles hit the Idaho roadways each day. Among them are many state and county fleet vehicles. Agencies have plans in place if their budgets begin to feel the impacts of high gas prices. Um, even though the fuel prices are rising, our priority is the maintenance of the roads. Ada County Highway District's 2022 fiscal year budget was approved for more than $150 million. Deputy Maintenance Director Jennifer Berenger says the agency allotted $1.1 million for fuel out of that budget. So it's a very small percentage. So as we have those fluctuations in the market, we're able to adapt from within the budget that we have. With about 270 mobile vehicles, ACHD has not gone over budget for this current fiscal year. Now, it's a different story for Idaho State Police. Each year, our budget is set through the legislature. Captain Matt Sly says ISP's patrol division is budgeted around $720,000 for gas for the 2022 fiscal year, which started last July. Since then, patrol has spent $867,000. But it doesn't mean we'll see fewer ISP troopers on the road. It doesn't impact like how we do things at the operations level because you know we still have to respond to crashes and we still have to respond to the different services. ISP estimates spending another $200,000 for the rest of this fiscal year, which will end in July. To cover the extra costs, they're using salary savings and will ask lawmakers for more funds for next year. So we are still out there every day, you know, doing what's expected of us. Idaho Department of Transportation is also spending more at the pump this fiscal year than others. This isn't the first time we've seen this happen. They, they have fluctuated before, gone up. ITD's John Tomlinson says they budget for fuel by averaging the last five fiscal years, 2017 through 2021. For diesel, they budgeted $2.46 million. So far in the 2022 fiscal year, they've gotten 906,000 gallons of diesel fuel, which has cost them $2.76 million. We, we, we do have some leniency. We have some strategies and opportunities where we can, you know, maybe we're not spending as much on, on certain areas within our budget. And so we're not going to stop our construction projects. We're not going to be stopped doing those things that we need to do to make everybody be able to get home safely. And some of the departments like ACHD and ITD said they have fuel contracts with gas companies. It's a set price and volume. They bet out while determining the fiscal year budget. So they're able to help save some money that way as well. Doug. Wow, I'm sure there are a lot of us who would love to be able to set a fuel contract with a gas company and pay a set price for the whole time. Right. And then, of course, unless it went below that, right? Yeah. Thanks, Tristan.